Hello Pisces, welcome to your timeless reading. So whenever you happen to come across it, that's what you're meant to see it. And this is messages from spirit. What does spirit want to tell you? What do you need to know here? Let's see. We have, ooh, a caring connection. Okay. And we have rest and rejuvenation. Man holding a heart. Your energy here is second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Ooh, okay. And then we have the sun. All tied up. And storm warning. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, so let's see here. Bottom of the deck, we have seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So this is the crown chakra. You're very tapped into your spirituality, to your intuition. Strong connection with the divine. Love it. Okay, so let's start with... Put these down. Okay, so we're going to start with this caring connection. This is something in the past. So maybe you just recently came into this connection, or this is someone that's in your life, but you met them in the past here. So someone from your past. Caring connection. Let's see. Ooh. We have the beer, the polar beer. Hmm. There might have been a little aggression here. It's a power struggle. But this also, someone might be very protective of you, too. We have here a woman. Okay, so here's the female, the main female. You or your person, whoever the main female is. Someone might be very protective over the main female. Okay. So now let's see about this caring connection with the beer. Get more into that. Judgment. Nine of Swords. And the King of Cups. Okay, so, so this could have been someone that you have known in the past. Maybe you just recently re reconnected with them. But someone is stressing out over there. Someone has anxiety. Someone's not sleeping at nights because of the King of Cups. So this could be your energy or it could be a person's energy. Or is the King of Cups the one who is actually stressing? Let's see. We have here. Oh, we have that pony here. So someone's moving quickly, but they're prancing. This is the very uh, person that prances. Maybe this um, King of Cups uh, is um, thinks they look pretty good here. Is one of you with a prancing pony. Yeah, there's something coming, something around, or something, someone trying to make a decision, and it's very stressful to make this decision. Someone might have a lot of love, a lot of emotions, but with the King of Cups, they might not be expressing it. Okay, the bottom, we have the Magician. Okay. To me, the Magician is Aries, Aquarius energy. Someone might be trying to manifest something. Maybe a reconnection, or maybe something that happened here. Um, this could be you, or this could be your person that you're dealing with. Okay, so now, in the present, we have, you might be taking a little time out. You need to rest, you need to rejuvenate here. Maybe even be on vacation or, or holiday. Oh, so someone had to cut something out here. Okay. This could also be, like, this is the present energy. Something might have ended quickly. All of a sudden, someone just stopped, cut someone out. It could be a divorce, too. Someone might be healing from a divorce. Maybe something didn't work in a divorce here. We do have here... Hmm. Is this the children card? I'm not sure what this card is in this deck. I don't use this deck. Oh, Clover. That's what it is. It's Clover. This is luck. So luck is coming your way. Number two is Clover. Okay. Some kind of lucky situation. It might be a chance meeting or taking a chance to or something. But there is going to be a lucky opportunity or some reward coming in. Okay, let's clarify why we have this... Um, Rest and rejuvenation puts aside here. Why is that here? What's that all about? The Emperor, Aries Energy, 
the High Priestess. Wow. Cancer Virgo energy. And the Three of Wands. Waiting for something to happen here. Ace of Cups. There's a, some love offer maybe. Peak experience of emotions here. Um, okay, so the Emperor. A leader. Take charge. We have the High Priestess. This could be a secret. Is this a secret meeting? Presently, are you meeting up with someone or waiting for someone that you have to keep it secret? Like someone that is in authority. Someone that has a very prominent position. And um, so it's, it's being very kept hush-hush. That's what it feels like to me. That's what's happening in the present here. And maybe you'd have to cut it out because it's like it's not working. You know, because you don't want to be in secret. Okay, that's what I'm feeling for someone. Okay, now... Man holding a heart. This is hidden influence. If someone has his holding their heart, they have a lot of feelings for, for either you or you have for them. Let's see. Yeah, there is this very, a very strong um, spiritual connection here. It's like there's a lot. You, you guys get along so well. And, but there's something, there's something standing away. We have the mountain. You're blocked somehow. There's a challenge, there's roadblock, there's obstacles. Okay, let's see if we get more on that. So we have Sagittarius energy with the um, temperance. We have Queen of Cups. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so being patient. You know, this might come together. There's there's hopes and wishes, dreams coming through. We do have the King and Queen of Cups here now. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, Divine Timing. Also, the Queen of Cups could be taking charge here, taking the wheel. Okay. So if that resonates for you guys, something is coming together. I like it. What do we have on here? Thirty-four. Oh, yeah, the fish. Yeah, there's a very. This is a very strong connection. It's hidden. Something. Someone's hidden their um, emotions, but it looks like it's all gonna play out. Okay, and we do have the five of swords. There's something that you have to. Maybe you're worrying about other people trying to sabotage this. Okay, so now, Archangel Ariel, the second chakra. This is your energy. You're in your um, sacral chakra here. So this is creativity. It's also sex sexuality. So let's clarify this. Okay, you could be um, going out, having a good time. This is meeting. This is networking. This is social events. Yeah, you might be gathering with someone and yeah you're doing something you're figuring something out here oh this might be you might be getting in a, in a commitment here this could be someone that is already taken too or it could be something coming back around but it is like a commitment here okay let's clarify King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles. And we have here the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you're probably looking things over a few times here. Trying to decide if you want to put time and effort into something here. It could be with a King of Pentacles or you could be the King of Pentacles. Someone's financially stable, secure, very um, dependable. Oh, okay, we got two here. Okay, seeing this person, it could be a new love. We have the seahorse, and, and also the seahorse is made for life. Might be seeing things differently, seeing something new. Ace of Wands, I mean, that's awesome because with the second chakra, creativity, and the Ace of Wands is very creative. So you're doing something here. You might be doing something on your own, and this might be bringing you some financial st stability here with the Nine of Pentacles. But there's definitely someone that wants to connect with you. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. It could be a new love. Some 
could just be opening their eyes to this situation here. Okay, so now the outside influences, we have the Sun, Leo energy. Well, that is good. I'm glad to see the happiest card in the deck is the outside influence. That is nice. So let's see. Ooh, but we have the snake. So outside influence, you might be happy and there might be people that are jealous that you're so happy. There could be a woman involved here, a main woman, or um, could be your energy, could be someone else's energy. But we do have with the snake, that's jealousy, that's... um. Betrayal, lies, deceit. But we do have the sun, so it makes it, even if someone feels this way about you, they're upset because you're so happy. And it could be another woman that feels this way. Okay, let's clarify. The sun and the snake. What's going on with that? The Fool, a new beginning here, Aries Aquarius energy, to a cup, a very strong commitment, and working together. Yeah, okay. There, You are outside influence. There's something coming together, and it looks really good. This looks like a really good connection. There's someone that is not too happy about this. They're trying to, um, they feel betrayed. They feel jealous. They, um, they're envious. And we have the Eight of Wands, but this is going to take off. Things are going to move quickly for you. Now... For what you should do. It says all tied up. Maybe keep yourself busy. So you don't let that. Now two and three is a five. It's changed. There's some kind of change coming. So what you should do is just maybe. You feel all tied up. But this is. You might be all tied up with something to do with real estate. The house. The home. And that might be what's on your mind right now. You're at a crossroads trying to make a decision. It might be two choices too. With people. So master number 22. But yeah there's something with the home. This is um stability security um comfort family yeah you could be tied up with something to do with the home at the, at this time and maybe that's good maybe it's good to keep your mind preoccupied in something else you could actually be selling a home or buying a home so you're tied up with real estate Okay, so now let's clarify this. Queen of Pentacles matches the King of Pentacles. That's that we have the Queen and King of Cups, and we have the Queen and King of Pentacles. It's very interesting. And then we have the Moon and the Sun. Okay, and the Nine of Wands. Okay, things, you're very protective this time, seeing the Nine of Wands is here. You do have the Queen of Pentacles, so either you or your person is, it looks like you're coming together in a very stable connection here. Queen of Wands takes care of the home. The Queen of Wands is good with the home. And we have a Snowflake, one of kind, unique, different. And um, also the Moon, a lot of emotions here, but you might be keeping things on the download, keeping things quiet, which is a good thing. Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Because the sun here, Leo energy, happiness is coming here. So just maybe just stay um, focused on what you're trying to do here with your home, with your house, building, or whatever you're doing. Um, and that's a good thing. Now, for the final outcome, we have storm warning. Okay, something's giving you a heads up. There might be something coming in. Let's see. Oh, it must have something. It could be something about a new beginning, a child. Um, but we have loyalty here. Okay. So it might have some, maybe a child might act up or, or um, something new is coming in. That might be a warning. But it's playfulness. It's a honeymoon stage. It's just new love. That might be, you know, you might be connected to someone here and really feeling a strong connection. It might be someone new coming in too. It also could warn of a pregnancy too. So there might be a pregnancy coming in. Okay, let's clarify. Death. So this is Scorpio energy, uh, ending, new beginning, rebirth, transformation. And we have the Ace of Cups. A lot of love here. And we have, this is, this is the Eight of Swords. Someone's in their head about something here. 
and we have the three of swords. Someone feels betrayed. Someone feels hurt. Yeah, so someone might be, they might be coming in, but you might be, I almost feel like everything's going nicely for you. You have this new connection. Everything's working out well, but you're a little concerned about this other person that showed up. But you got this. Everything's going to be fine. But there is some kind of hurt, some kind of betrayal here with the three of swords. But we do have, whoever the person is that you're with, they, they're they very loyal to you. So even if someone's trying to come in or, or you're very loyal to this person, I think whoever this other person is, they don't have a, they don't stand a chance. It won't work. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, I didn't put a king of pentacles here. Let me get this on here. Okay. Okay, now let's see what the word is. Okay, what's the word on this King of Cups? That is amazing. That four court cards. King and Queen of Cups and King and Queen of Pentacles. So your past person could have been a cup to your cup. And this new person is a pentacle to your pentacle. Let's see. We have likely the X. Okay. Immature. Okay, so likely this ex is might might want to try to come back and say that they they're gonna confess that they were immature. Now I see you as a queen of cups, but you could always change the morale. Let's see here. We have mature. <laughs> expect to separate. So yeah, so you can expect to separate from this person because they're immature and you're you're mature. Okay, now what about this king of pentacles, this new person? Finish, revealed, okay, so something's going to be revealed and then you're going to realize something is finished or this person's going to realize something is finished. Okay, now, Queen of Pentacles, Jealousy, Love, Intruder, you see that's the other woman. So someone is trying to intrude here, and they're because they're jealous. And that's what came up before. Okay, so now let's see what signs we have here. What are the signs for Pisces? Cancer, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries. And Aquarius. Okay, so this could be placement in your chart, placement other people's charts, past, present, and future. Okay, now we'll do 11 letters for initials. First name, last name. If you get both the initial for first and last name, someone has a middle name. You know the middle name. Get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, and future are also your own initials. We have G, R, X, M, Z, P A V C F Q. Okay, so the letters we have today are G R X M Z P A V C F Q. Okay, now let's get eleven names or more. What are the names? What are the names? Okay, we have Paula, Kevin, Jordan, Magdalene, M-A-G-D-A-L-E-N-E. -E. We have Kenneth, Rob, Phoebe, Ruth, Damien, D-A-M-I-O-N, Francis, Carla, K-A-R-L-A, Nicola, and Corey, C-O-R-E-Y. Okay, so it looks like we have 12. All right, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. 
If it does not resonate, check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments, and I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.